Well, if you haven't heard of Squid Game, then we're actually on the internet. Well, I'll tell you what it is for the people who haven't been on the internet in 55 years. So Squid Game is basically a uh, thriller series that's on Netflix. It's exclusive to Netflix. I mean, obviously. Why is it why exclusive is it to Netflix? Netflix? It is. It is. It's always it's going, going to be. Well, basically, it's a thriller drama series about 456 people who are extremely high in debt in Korea, and they have to find a competition, like find anything to get any amount of money. And so they eventually all find this one competition where they have to compete in childish games. Only problem is, they end up dying. So, the main uh, point of this game is to not die. And no, it does not involve cooking any calamari. That's not what the name Squid Game is for. But I've always asked myself, why is Squid Game so popular? Because I watched one episode, and I just can't get into it. So, I found a reliable news site, and in their words, we're going to try to see why Squid Game is so popular. And, I mean, it's obviously popular, like, memes are all the rage, Squid Game memes are all the rage, TikToks, you know, YouTube, everything. So, let's start off here, it says, Netflix Squid Game is a sensation. Here's why it's so popular. Squid Game is more than just a runaway hit for Netflix. It's also the internet's favorite show, obviously. Released September 17th, the 9 episode Korean thriller is poised to become Netflix's biggest non-English language show in the world. And speaking of non-English, let me know in the comments below. If you watch Squid Game, which part or which way do you like to watch it? With the English dub or the or Korean with the English subtitles? Said Netflix uh, co-CEO Ted Sarandos. Did Ted Sarandos say that on a TED Talk? It's only been out for nine days, and it's a very good chance it's going to be our biggest show ever, as Sarandos said last month. And here's a... Uh, Screenshot of it. Now, Flix Patrol, a website that tracks streaming statistics for the top platforms in the world, reported that Squid Game is the number one show in dozens of countries, including the US, obviously, the UK, obviously, and South Korea, obviously. Streaming numbers for Netflix aren't independently verified, making a show's popularity diffi difficult to quantify. Netflix executives didn't respond to requests for comments. Julia Alexander, a senior strate strategy analyst at Parrot Analytics, said it's clear that Squid Game has been a massive success, adding that she would use one word to describe how big a win it has been for Netflix because of the region they released it in, that this was going to be a hit in South Korea. I would put good money that the executives had no idea this was going to be a global hit. Only one person could win the prize. And those who lose um, the series of children's games pay with their lives. It's not children's games. It's a murderous children's game. On social media, users can't stop talking about Squid Game. Especially some of its children's games. Especially Red Light, Green Light. Which have lent us, uh, themselves to some unforgettable memes. On TikTok, hashtag Squid Game has been viewed more than 22.8 billion times. Why is it so popular? We broke down uh, some of the top recent viewers can't get enough of it. None sounds snobby, but I'm fluent in Korean, and I watch Squid Game with English subtitles, and if you don't understand Korean, you didn't really watch the same show. Translation was so bad, the dialogue was written so well, and zero of it was preserved. Can't get enough of these Squid Game memes. Korean talent, whether it's K-pop, Korean actors, Korean filmmakers, Korean athletes, there's so much demand for these group of talent that every company in the United States is trying to figure out how to bring that talent over, Alexander said. Not only is the demand for Korean uh, talent high, but the cost is also often lower. I mean, Netflix will soon begin to devote resources into creating more content like Squid Game, he said. I would actually be surprised if we saw less K-drama and less Korean films coming out on Netflix, because they're going to realize what they have and say, yes, we want to invest in this, Alexander said. Well, it looks like we know the internet's perspective on Squid Game. It's funny for the funny moments. It's very scary for the dark moments. You can make so many memes out of it, especially with red light, green light, and this one game where, you know, have to uh, cross the right thing. I don't know what the hell that is. Okay, so 
with that information, maybe if I watch Squid Game, I would have to watch it in one way, either the Korean with English subtitles or the English dub, because I can't go back because they will be two completely different shows, and that is in my opinion. And may who knows, maybe I might be able to get into it. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. Enjoy Squid Game if you want to. Because I know that I might. <laughs>